This is a quick video to demonstrate the dangers that owners of vehicles with center locking diffs face when operating on steep hills. Warning, do not attempt to replicate what you see in this video. You have been warned. So pay close attention to what happens to the vehicle after I stop it and look at the four wheels and see if you can work out what exactly is going on and why it's dangerous. So here's the situation. It's a, about a hill of 20 degrees. It is fairly loose rock dirt and I'm going to ascend it with the center diff locked as you can see. I'm not going to attempt to make it all the way to the top but I'm going to stop about here. The center diff is locked at this point. Foot is hard on the brake. Now all I'm going to do is unlock the center diff and as soon as I unlock it the vehicle slides backwards because all of a sudden the braking force is mostly at the front wheels and not really at the back wheels and you can see that I slide down the hill, the rear wheels are rotating, the fronts are locked and I've lost steering control and that can actually lead to a rollover if you're not careful and in fact has done so. So back up the hill we go and this time I'm going to keep the centre diff locked and so you can see the difference. So we come to a stop about there, brake is on and you can see that instantly the car's not going backwards but I let it go backwards, jam the brakes on and you can see it pretty much comes to a stop and the reason is we've all of a sudden got more braking force on the back wheels whereas before we had very little braking force on the back wheels and because it's a steep hill the back wheels are the ones with traction and that's why you've got to lock your centre diff. We'll try it again here, this time again without the centre diff locked. You can see that as soon as I put my foot on the brakes, in fact even before that, the front wheel is just locked and I just slide down the hill. It doesn't matter how hard I press the brake pedal, the front wheels are going to lock. The rear wheels are simply not going to lock. They're not going to give, give me the retardation. So that's why I need to lock your centre diff on hill so you can climb them effectively but more importantly so you can come back down the hill under good control with adequate braking. Now I haven't explained exactly what's going on here because that is the subject of another very detailed video. I've put that in the comments and descriptions. Please watch that if you really want to understand what is happening with four-wheel drives and centre diff locks because that knowledge may well save your life.